Sent into a void of whiteness, Goku does not know where he is. When suddenly, a bearded man in a cloak comes out and says, Over here, Goku, this man radiates power, knowledge, and can create things from thin air. He was able to make enough food to fill up Goku. Who is this man, and why is he so reminiscent? of an Omni King. Well, these are chapters 10 and 11 of the story of Universe 13's Angel and the sub-story of the bearded Omni King. Since being sent into this white void, Goku has been trying to find a way to escape. It's a complete white void of nothingness. The only thing he can see is himself and this man in the cloak. He tries using instant transmission, but it just doesn't work. For some reason, in this dimension, Goku just cannot escape. After eating all this food created by the bearded Zeno, Goku once again tries to escape. Since being sent here by Universe 13, he needs to find a way out and get stronger to beat this Universe 13 angel. However, the Bearded Omni King says, I'm afraid you cannot leave this place. Once you enter this place, you cannot escape. This shocks Goku, however, I don't think he's realizing the potential he has right now. He is standing next to an Omni King with a beard. He is standing next to a version of the Omni King that doesn't seem to be a child. This version of Zeno is incredibly wise. He owns this entire dimension. While in this realm, he can create anything, and that's what he does. Without Goku even realizing, he recreates Universe 13's angel Murno and says, Hey Goku, Murno's over there. Maybe you should ask him why he sent you here. And right down to the dot, sure enough, Murno is standing right there. Zeno has recreated one of the most powerful angels, just like that. That. Goku is very shocked by this. He looks at Murno, then looks back to the bearded Omni King and says, You just recreated one of the most powerful angels to ever live. So, as it turns out, this is Goku's new sparring partner. And every time Goku gets beaten down, this Omni King with a beard will heal Goku back up and he'll go again. They will keep doing this on repeat until Goku gets stronger. Strong enough to defeat the Universe 13 angel, Murno. Pretty smart from the bearded Zeno, but we still don't know much about his identity. Goku keeps questioning how he was able to replicate this Universe 13 angel with his power level intact, and the bearded Omni King says back to him, there are rules that everything must go by in the regular 12 universes. This includes the God Realm, Angels, and everything in between. However, in this realm, this white void, the only rule is me. He's pretty much saying that he is the creator, destroyer, Everything in this realm is going through him, and it makes sense because he is an Omni King. Goku is really taken back by this. He's saying this is a lot to take in. He goes on to ask, who are you? That's when we get the money shot that does confirm this is a version of the Omni King. He says back to Goku, who I am right now is not important. I'm a retired old man. But we see a small glimpse of his face, and this is the face of an Omni King. He's not fooling anyone with that beard. You are the Omni King, but he may be a retired older Omni King, and the concept and idea of that is really cool. Toyo Taro should be taking notes. So it cuts back to reality, and it turns out there is going to be an angelic war between the Grand Priest, Whis, Universe 7, and Universe 13. The angels told the mortals that this is not their fight, but Vegeta said no way, so he's brought everybody from Earth, from Majin Buu to Master Roshi, and the plan is for an all-out angelic war between Universe 13 and the Grand Priest army, which includes Vegeta and the rest of Universe 7, Whis, and eventually Goku. And that is where the chapter ends. I've been covering this fan story for a few weeks now, and because it's expanding on new material, something that Dragon Ball Super is doing, but taking a long time to do, this is something Something that's very refreshing and I think Dragon Ball needs a story like this. Anyway, let me know what you think, more of this story coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.